five, you know, some conversations are more difficult than others, and one of the most difficult is talking about death and dying. Right. Diane Atwood, who writes the blog Catching Help, is here with us. And I guess there is a conference coming up that helps start that conversation? Well, that's the aim of the conference. But first of all, let me tell you about Norma. Norma's a 90-year-old widow who has been traveling across the United States in an RV with her son and daughter-in-law. There, the, there she is with the family dog. You can follow their journey on their Facebook page, Driving Miss Norma. Well, Norma made the decision to hit the road after she was diagnosed with uterine cancer. Her other option was to have surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy, which she decided not to do. What I think is important about Norma's story is that she knew what she wanted, and she and her family, obviously, had a conversation about it. But as Sharon said, it's not easy to talk about dying. That's why Hospice of Southern Maine is hosting a conference about end-of-life conversations, what to say and do. It's next Wednesday at USM here in Portland, and there's been such an overwhelming response that they're setting up overflow rooms to live stream the conference. I guess people do want to talk about dying. So how do you start your conversation? First. You need to figure out what you want, what matters most to you. Norma didn't want cancer treatments. Maybe you would. Next, who do you want to talk to? Some people may be less willing than others. The Conversation Project offers these icebreakers. You could say, I need your help with something, or I need to think about my future. Will you help me? Or I was thinking about what happened to so-and-so, and it made me realize. One of my first conversations was with my dad. In my presence, his doctor asked him about his end-of-life wishes. Now, I admit, it freaked me out, but it also opened the door for us. Dr. Diane Meyer, who is the keynote speaker at the upcoming conference, says many doctors have a hard time talking to patients about dying, never mind the rest of us. She's the director of the Center to Advance Palliative Care in New York, and while she's in Maine, she'll also address health care providers at Maine Medical Center. If you're interested in attending the conference, it's called the Thresholds Conference, go to my blog at catchinghealth.com. The links, they're in the first post, the one with the picture of Norma and the family poodle. Hospice of Southern Maine is also sponsoring several community forums on end-of-life conversations over the course of this year. They're free, they include a light supper, and that information is also on Catching Health. Very good, Lots very to good. Talk about. Yeah, very important. Oh yeah, definitely. Thanks, Diane. Quick break, right back.